Today, I'm gonna to build the world's largest bowl of Halloween candy because every year, some kid steals the entire bowl, leaving everyone else empty-handed. So this year, I created a simple four-step plan to make the world's largest bowl of candy so I don't let the kids down again. Step one, the bowl. Now first, I'm gonna order this massive bowl online in hope of transforming it into the ultimate Halloween candy bowl. So once my new pool arrived, I called in my dad to come help customize it. Then, once we finished putting it together, I did some quick measurements. It is about two and a half feet tall, and 12 feet wide. Next, we spray painted the outside of the bowl orange and lastly attached LED lights around the top. You think we can fill the entire thing? Oh yeah, we're gonna so, fill it. Yeah. We're gonna fill it. Step two, candy. Now the next day, I rented a 15 foot truck, took out a chunk of my life savings and lastly picked up the boys. <laughs> then we drove three hours from Buffalo, New York to Cleveland, Ohio, home of the largest candy store in North America. This place is absolutely massive, boys. This is bigger than I thought, yeah. 100%. Well, well. We're gonna need to find the perfect variety of candy for the kids. It's not gonna be like, take one, take a few, take unlimited. That's what we're going for, guys. It's almost like too much for us to pick. How do we choose? We have one hour till they close, as much candy as possible. Unlimited budget, let's go. So we grabbed a few carts and started slowly filling them with a unique variety of different candy. Hey Siri, what's the most popular Halloween candy? Reese's peanut butter. Then, as the boys continued grabbing candy, I went and asked employees for some recommendations to help make sure we got the perfect variety. Although, after selecting a wide range of candy from M&Ms to boogers, this happened. Fifteen minutes. At this point, we only had about a thousand in candy because we took so long filming when we arrived. So now we only had fifteen minutes to try and get enough candy to fill up the truck. Ronan. Dude, why is he not grabbing candy? That would be fantastic, sir. As you can see, we're a little low on candy at the moment here. So we did our best to grab as many large boxes and bags as possible before they officially closed. The cashiers probably hate us. We're sorry. All right, keep grabbing, guys. Keep grabbing. We're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, we did our best with the time we had. Then, after these amazing employees finished checking us out, we took all our carts outside, packaged the loose candy into boxes, and lastly loaded everything into the truck. Step three, preparation. Now for reference, this is $30 worth of candy. This is $100 worth of candy. And this is $500 worth of candy. And it doesn't even fill 5% of the bowl. We got a lot of work on our hands, boys. Let's get to business. So we quickly started cutting open boxes and laying out all the unique candy I bought in Ohio before we began attempting to fill this massive bowl one bag at a time. Who else is doing it like us? No one. Exactly, bro. Grandma so, doesn't have this kind of candy. That's a problem with today's society. They're just giving out all fun sizes. Take one, take two. This is take unlimited. Now, after pouring candy for over an hour, I came to the conclusion that I think we're gonna need a lot more candy. I don't know if we're gonna fill this whole thing cloth. We're filling this whole thing. It's getting pretty hot in here, dude. Keep dumping that candy, Max, all right? <laughs> then I went and purchased a bunch of chips and even more candy. All right, hopefully this should be enough. So we could continue filling the bowl even higher and keep the dream alive. Now, after working around the clock for multiple days, I finally completed the world's largest bowl of Halloween candy just in time for my village's annual Halloween event. And now to top it all off with a five pound gummy bear. Step four, showtime. All right, everyone, the event has currently been going on for about an hour and a half, and candy's running a little low. It's getting close, man. It's gonna get down to the wire. The kids are enjoying the candy. That's what really matters at the end of the day, but I just don't want to run out early again for this last batch of kids, you know? We gotta tell the girls to stop taking all the Yeah, candy. man. Then over the next 30 minutes, even more people came out and enjoyed our massive bowl. We're down to our emergency stock. Now, despite there being more people than anticipated, in the end, we managed to make sure everyone went home with plenty of candy.